In Monday night NBA action, the Chicago Bulls will travel to the Golden One Center to take on the Sacramento Kings. The Bulls, a 41-26, have split their 32 road games and are tied with Philadelphia for third place in the East. On Saturday, Chicago led by 11 points at halftime and never trailed during the second half of a 101-91 home victory versus Cleveland. The Sacramento Kings are looking to snap a four-game losing streak and have fallen four games behind New Orleans for 10th place in the West. On Saturday, Sacramento allowed Utah to shoot 56% from the field during a 134-125 road loss. The Kings, 24-45, were out-rebounded by a 44-33 margin and connected on 13-4-33 from the three-point line. Chicago's Zach Levine, left knee soreness, did not play in Saturday's victory and is listed as questionable for this game. The Bulls ranked 19th in defensive efficiency and the Kings ranked second worst in that category. Chicago Bulls, minus 5 or over 236. The Minnesota Timberwolves look for a second consecutive victory on Monday when they visit the San Antonio Spurs. Minnesota is third in the Northwest Division at 39-30 and four games behind the first-place Utah Jazz. Minnesota defeated the Miami Heat 113-104 in Miami on Saturday. The Timberwolves were led in scoring by Jalen Noel with 16 points. The victory was Minnesota's seventh in its last eight. San Antonio looks to bounce back from a loss when hosting Minnesota on Monday. The Spurs are fourth in the Southwest Division at 26-42 and 20 games behind the first-place Memphis Grizzlies. San Antonio was defeated by the Indiana Pacers 119-108 on Saturday. The leading scorer for San Antonio was Jock Landale with 26 points. The Spurs shot only 41.2%. San Antonio has lost six of its last eight. Although Minnesota is just seventh in the Western Conference standings, the Timberwolves will be a threat once the postseason starts. Minnesota has covered the spread in seven of its last eight. The Timberwolves are second in the NBA in scoring with an average of 114.6 points per game. Carl Anthony Towns, Anthony Edwards and D'Angelo Russell are combining to score an average of 64.7 points per game and will control this game from start to finish against the Spurs. Minnesota Timberwolves, minus 4.5. The Charlotte Hornets look for their second consecutive victory when visiting the Oklahoma City Thunder on Monday. Charlotte is second in the Southeast Division at 33-35 and 11 and one half games behind the first place Miami Heat. Charlotte beat the New Orleans Pelicans 142-120 on Friday. Miles Bridges and Terry Rozier each scored 27 points for the Hornets. Charlotte shot 59.8% overall and 46.8% from three-point territory. Oklahoma City completes a back-to-back -back on Monday when hosting Charlotte after entertaining the Memphis Grizzlies on Sunday. Oklahoma City is last in the Northwest Division at 20-46 and 21 and one half games behind the first place Utah Jazz. Oklahoma City was defeated by the Minnesota Timberwolves 132-102 on Wednesday. Aaron Wiggins was the leading scorer for the Thunder with 25 points. The Thunder have lost four straight, Charlotte will defeat Oklahoma City on Monday. The over has cashed in four of Charlotte's last five versus an opponent from the Western Conference and in four out of Oklahoma City's last five overall. Charlotte is 28th in the NBA in points allowed at 114.9 points per game and is first in the NBA in scoring with an average of 114.6 points per game. Charlotte Hornets minus 7 or over 231.